If there's something wrong with me, am I not feeling the spirit? You know that God has been good to you. You want to clap your hands. You want to say hallelujah, Joyce. You want to say thank you, Jesus. You want to jump. You want to shout. But it's like your mind won't connect with your body to allow it to be able to move. Has anybody felt that before? And not only that, sometimes you want to praise God, but your heart is too heavy with all your issues. Pastor preached on last Sunday, the woman with the issue of blood. She had that issue for 12 long years. This woman was in bondage with this issue. That's just like us. Some of us got some issues, so it weighs our hearts down and it weighs our bodies down. But God told me to tell somebody this Sunday morning that it's time for you in 2020 to release and allow God to come into your life, to allow your body to connect with your mind so your feet can begin to move. I'm going to say that one more time because somebody didn't catch it. Allow your mind to connect with your body, to allow your feet to begin to move. And somebody may be saying, well, it don't take all of that. Yes, it do. It take all of that in this song. Because if God done delivered you, he done healed you, he done set you free, you should show on the outside that God has been good to you. Yeah. Ain't no way in the world you should sit there.
take a trip back down our memory. <laughs> Understand that you ain't been perfect all your days. You made many mistakes. Some of the things that I've done, I gotta take to my grave. <laughs> God knows I love you. We've been together for 16 years. But baby, you weren't with me before in the street. Come on. So I, some of those things, I, I'm just not going to tell you what I did. But I thank God that he kept me while I was doing what I was doing. And I thank God that people are getting Nobody catch her, you nobody catch that. I thank God that He didn't allow people to find out what I was doing. Because if people would have found out what I was doing, they was gonna run my name in the street. Say that. Say amen, God. <laughs> and thank you, God, that they didn't find out. <laughs> Yes, sir. He throws it into the sea. Yes, he does. Never to rise up anymore. That's right. But see, when people forgive you, uh -huh. they still talk about you. Yes, sir. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. They still run your name in the ground. Yes, sir. But see, God, the God that we serve, he does not do that. He loves you past your mess. Yeah. Now, what's going on in the text is, because I got to teach. We have a man named David. David was a man after God's heart. Uh -huh. But David was also a man that did some dirt. David had a man killed because he wanted his woman. Amen. How many of y'all done done that before? I'm going to be quiet. I'm going to leave that alone. Because they're going to find out you did it. But David wasn't perfect. Oh, Lord. He made a lot of mistakes. Yeah. But one thing about David is he knew where his help come from. Yeah. How many of y'all know where your help come from? Yeah. When David did wrong, he always apologized. Meaning David repented. We don't never hear that word enough in church. Repent. When you do wrong, you have to ask God to forgive you. Right. And also you got to ask the person that you did wrong to, to forgive you as well. Amen. And David never made a move without asking God first. Yeah. Never made a move. That's just like us. We don't need to make any moves without asking God first. You better ask God if you should marry that woman or that man before you walk down the aisle. Do you hear me? Because can I tell you something? Lust ain't going to keep no marriage. I'm going to say that one more time. Lust ain't going to keep no marriage. I don't care how much she packing. I don't care how much she packing. After a while, you give it about five. 20 years, everything gonna say it anyway, so lust ain't gonna keep no marriage. Go ahead, sister. <laughs> I've got to teach that thing, yes, amen. Yes, I'm 40, I was 40 years old, and I found I ain't packed like I was when I was like 20 years old. You Stuff done started sagging, so I know Carlos got to love me past my looks. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Don't ask God and see what's gonna happen. You might find two weeks after the wedding they're booger wolves. Come on, somebody. They did everything they could just to get you. Said they was going to do this. They was going to do this. Now they won't cook. They won't clean. They nasty. They won't work. They're mama's boss. She's a mama's girl. Can't pay no bills. Won't pay no bills. You better ask God first. That's right. Somebody say booger wolf. Put that on Facebook. Don't marry a booger wolf. But David asked God every time he went into battle. Now one time, the ark of God had gotten stolen by the Philistines. Now somebody might be asking a question, Perry. What is the ark of God? Anybody ask that question? What is the ark of God? Do you know what the ark of God is? Well, somebody asked it then. I'm glad you asked that question. Here we go. Now the ark of God is a gold-covered wooden chest. With a lid on it with God's name. It also has two cherubims facing each other on each side. Inside of the ark of God is the Ten Commandments that God gave Moses. The manna from heaven that fed the Israelites in the wilderness. And Aaron's rod which budded. I got to teach you. 
Now this was a powerful chest with God's glory all in it and all around it. And the Philistines had stolen it. But God allowed them to get it back. That's why David was so happy. That's why David was filled with joy. Because God allowed them to be able to bring the ark back into the city of David. Now understand, this process took a long time. It took years and years. You've been going through for years and years. Then all of a sudden, your help done came. Honey, you'll praise God like you done lost your mind. So what David did is David called all the people together for a celebration. Because when God has been good to you, it's got to show on the outside that he's been good to you. The people of God were singing songs, playing all kinds of instruments. God lost them, played the lids, they played the harps, they played the tambourines, they played the cymbals, they played the drums. Everything they had, they played. How many of y'all know ain't no party like a Holy Ghost party? Because the Holy Ghost party don't stop. See, when God's presence come in, you can't help but to move. You can't help but to shake a tail feather. Because you know it went nobody.
See, last Sunday, my son gave a testimony. The prayers of the righteous. The prayers of the righteous. A valid much. A valid much. See, when I was praising God, God was working it out. When I was praising God, God was bringing it back home. I didn't stop praising you. I kept on praising you. And one day my child came back home. So your praise. Yeah. 